Hi friends, welcome back to Circle Time. I miss Brittany with the Home CEO Academy. Do you remember my big fuzzy green gloves? Yep, our clue of the week. Stay tuned for more fun. Now let's head over to Lexi for our welcome song. Take it away, Lexi. Hello, welcome. This is the hello song. This is the hello song. I'm sitting on her hat. This is the hello song. It's a new day. And it's a surprise in every new corner. So I hope you have a great day. Goodbye. Yeah. All right, friends. I have a really fun song for you today. It is called, Where is Thumpkin? And I brought a few friends along with me. Here we go. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pointer? Where is Pointer? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is tall man? Where is tall man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is ring man? Where is ring man? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Where is Pinky? Where is Pinky? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, ma'am? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Great job. Welcome back to our theme board. Let's learn a few more things about what our hands and fingers do for us every day. First, we use our fingers and hands to help us eat. In some countries, they actually use their fingers and hands instead of the utensils that we use every day. In India, they actually can even scoop up the rice and put it into their mouth, and then that's how they eat right out of the bowl. But here in America, our parents teach us that we use our utensils to eat. And next, we use our fingers and hands to exercise and play sports. Do you know what the first sport in America was? I don't know if you've ever seen this sport. It's not usually on television, but it involves a long stick and a little net at the top and people hold that ball in there and they pass it to their teammates. Isn't that interesting? So they use that stick with their hands and fingers so the ball doesn't fall out and they use the stick and the momentum with their arms to fling it forward and play the game. Thanks for learning more about your hands and fingers with me today. Let's head over to our desk with teacher Mariah for our wake up warm ups. Our bodies can do many things like run and jump. Let's look at some action verb flashcards. Run, sit, walk, throw, jump, kneel, kick, Ride, 
stand, crawl, sleep, blow, swim, brush, eat, point, hug, carry, pet, push, swing, itch, float, and read. Do you do any of these actions? I bet you do. Great job. Wake up warm up. Today we're going to describe with our words how some things feel. So I pulled some things from the house and we're going to describe them. Lexi's going to help us. We have a brush, a cotton ball, a fancy rock, and some Play-Doh. Lexi, why don't you tell us how you would describe how this brush feels? This feels smooth, but this part feels rough and bumpy. How would you describe the cotton ball? Soft, very soft. And before we describe this rock, can you explain where you got this rock? I was at a nature reserve and I was at this garden part of the nature reserve and then I found it. So some people as a hobby, they paint rocks and they make interesting designs like this one here and put they put them in parks for people to find and take home. And we were so lucky to be able to find, find what somebody did. So we were so excited about that. It's a really nice thing to do. You know, the people who make this, they do this out of love to brighten someone's day, but they don't even get to see the people who they end up blessing. But in our case, uh, we were very happy to get it. And if you're ever looking for a craft and wanting to do something nice for others, you could consider painting rocks and putting them in parks. Definitely made our day. All right, now, why don't you describe how this rock feels? This part of it, oh. Okay, that's all right. When this part is sort of, bumpy, this part, but this part is more rough. Right, it's sort of rough. And, and one thing I noticed about it too, Lexi, is it's cold. Mm -hmm. This is a rock and it, it really feels cold to the touch. All right, Lexi, how would you describe this? This is more sticky. Kind of squishy and sticky, right? Yeah. Right. So at home, you can find different things and use words to describe how they feel. Wow, friends, excellent job on your wake up warm ups today. Now let's have a seat, get comfy and get ready for story time with teacher Ashley. Today's book is Hands Say Love by George Shannon, illustrated by Taeyeon Yu. Hands that do all they can do are also saying, I love you. Hands that gently wake you up. Hands that fill that special cup. Hands that help the baby walk. Hands that make a puppet talk. Pick up blocks. Match the socks, tie a shoe, peekaboo. Hands that dig the garden weeds, hands that help to plant the seeds, hands that pull a splinter out, hands that hold when you're in doubt. Wipe a tear, hold you near. Toss a ball, stop your fall. Hands that do all they can do are also saying, I love you. Hands that help to stir and bake. Hands that decorate the cake. Hands that hold a bite to share. Hands that bring the silverware. Make a gift. Help you lift.
Fold a hat. Pet the cat. Hands that wave and wave hello. Hands that mark how tall you grow. Hands that tickle someone's chin. Hands that help you dance and spin. Play a song, clap along. Sweep the broom, clean the room. Hands that hold a book to share. Hands that brush and braid your hair. Hands that pull the covers tight. Hands that send a kiss. Good night. Hands that do all they can do are also saying, I love you. That was Hands Say Love by George Shannon. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today for our directed drawing, we are going to draw the letter L lemur. And isn't he cute? Our little lemur. Okay, but this is what we're starting with. We want to finish with this drawing. So we're going to go through each step together and complete our drawing. Let's look at what we're starting with and what step one looks like. What do you see that's different? Hmm. I see one big flat circle, so it looks like an oval with a curved line inside of it. And it's sitting on top of the L. So we're going to start with a circle that's squished, so an oval right here. Okay, and then we're going to draw this curved line. It kind of comes up a little bit, down a little bit, back up and curves down again. Just do your best. That's kind of a tricky line to do. Let's look at step two. What's different? Hmm, I see these curved, big curved lines, kind of like half of an oval here and half of an oval here or the top of an egg, you can think about it that way. And then we have two big ovals here. So let's start with the two big ovals here. So they're kind of on either side of this dipped down part. So we'll do one here and another one here. And then we have these big curved oval egg type shapes on either side. It looks like they start around here and they come down there. Do another one on this side. Like so. And if you need to pause the video at any time, please feel free to do so, so you can keep going along with me. If I'm going too fast. Okay, let's look at step three. What's different? Hmm. Well, I see some circles inside of my ovals here. It's like one circle that's drawn and then another circle that's inside of it that's colored in. I also see an oval on its side here. Let's start with the oval on its side. That one's pretty easy to draw. Go like that. And then we'll draw the circles inside the circles. So we'll start with one big one. We'll draw a smaller one inside and color it in. Look at that. And do the same on the other side. A big one and then one that's smaller that's inside and colored in. Okay, it's kind of starting to look like our lemur. Here's our lemur that's finished. What do we have in step four? What's different? Hmm, well I see inside my circle here I have a circle that's colored in right about there. And then a little mouth, little curved line like that. Look at that. And then he's got two little arms coming off of the middle right here. 
and looks like a curved line. So let's do that. And then we have one curved line this way and then a curved line in the middle. She's got three fingers. What about on this side? So we'll go from here, a curved line. And we have a curved line here and then another curved line like that. She's got three more fingers. And finally, we have the big tail. So for the big tail, we're going to make kind of a curved line, come around and come back down, okay? So we're gonna go up, curved line, come up here, come back around, and join here. Look at that. And then on his tail, do you notice these little curved like waves? So we're gonna do one here. Let's see, we have two, three, four, five, five sets. So that was one. Here's two. Here's three, four, and five. Five curved lines. And to make it look like this at the end, what colors would I need? I see light gray, dark gray, black. Well, the black's already colored in, so we don't need that one. Light gray, dark gray, and oh, look at the ring around the eyes. It looks yellow. Okay, so that's how you would complete your letter L lemur activity. And then we have two more activities. Let me grab these. Our first one is called H is for hand. It says find all the letter H's you can see and color them in. So here we have a letter H and then we need to find all the ones we can in here. You might have a dauber marker that you can take and kind of dab at them like that any H's you find. You might have a box of crayons. You might just have a regular marker and get to color them in as you find them. Whatever you like to do for this one. Maybe you have some stickers you can put on there. Maybe you have a stamp. Whatever you have, use that to color in your letter H's. On this next one, it's called Handy Count. So circle the correct number of hands in each row. So on each line, you need to count how many hands you see. On this one, we count one, two, three, three hands. So then I would come over here and find the number three. Which one's the number three? Do you see it? There it is. And I would color in the number three or circle it. And then I go on to the next line I count. And then this line. The answer is going to be over here. Same with this line. So that was handy count. H is for hand. And we get him. Our little le letter L lemur. That's hard to say really fast. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoy completing these activities this week. Hi, friends. Let's look at some fun name worksheets. My mom added my name to these pages, and your teacher or caregiver can add yours too. Here's the first worksheet I did. It says all about, and then I'll have your name here. You'll trace all the letters in your name, and then there are boxes underneath it with questions. You'll answer that, and then here's another one we have. It's called what's in a name. And then it has your name here, and again, you'll trace it. And then it has some questions. This one says there are blank letters in my name. So you count all the letters in your name and then you write it here. And it has a few other questions. And then it says I can write my name and you write your name at the bottom. Here's the last activity. It's very fun. So you'll have your name here and then you can get to decorate however you like it. And I chose glitter so I put a little different color of glitter on each letter. I hope you enjoy these activities. Bye. I hope you all had a great time today. I know I did. Now remember, when you go out to do your worksheets and activities to make them fun and original and all yours. From teacher Brittany and everyone here at the Home CEO Academy, we'll see you next time.
Bye bye. Hey, you could be alive.